Hi everyone, just going to do another walk around of the hive for you, just to show you some of the gift ideas that we've currently got available in store. Uh, just to remind you, we are open on Sunday 11 till 4, Tuesday and Wednesday 11 till 5, and we're also open on Christmas Eve. I have put it out there that we're open 11 till 5 on Christmas Eve, um, but we might close a little bit earlier, might close at 4 or 3 o'clock, just so we can get into the Christmas spirit ourselves. Namely, the sherry. I'm very, very addicted um, to the sherry at the moment. Um, but anyway, enough about drink. Let's spin this camera around and show you what we've got in store. Okay, so we're going to start with the nut scene. Um, I know I've gone through these previously. But we've got the salvage bobbins here, which come in a little gift tube. And it's the twiner bobbin on a vintage uh, bobbin spool with scissors. And we've got the potter's pal as well. Um, these are used for making little um, plant pots out of old newspapers. Um, so they're really easy to transfer seedlings in the, uh, the spring. They're also great as well, according to one customer, for using as little um, nibble pots. So if you've got like um, nuts and stuff that you're going to be putting out on the table, or really small portions of fries, then they're great for making little pots just to put uh, nibbles in. We've got this set of eight um, dinky twines, which is really useful to use around the garden and the home. Uh, we've got uh, medium size gift trays and also large um, gift sets for not seen. Again, as I keep mentioning, ready wraps, so just come in and uh, take it away as well. One last present for you to wrap. Uh, we've got something of all price ranges as well. I think we range from like two pounds upwards. Um, so we've got these trays here, um, little trinket boxes, more trays and plates, for example. So they're just five pounds each on those. Uh, the trays and uh, trinket trays are wrapped as well. Got some cool little ironmongery pieces. And I'll spin around to the Oppenol. So we have got Oppenol for kids and for adults, um, which sounds a little bit unusual, but let me show you the Oppenol um, Petit Chef sets. So we do have a couple of these as well, separate. So we've got just the peelers and just the knives, if you don't want to give a whole set. And then we've got the Outdoor Juniors knives there. Uh, and then going on to the adult ones, we've got like the Outdoor and the Explore um, Adventure Knives. And we've got a whole um, a whole arsenal, really, of Oppenel. Again, different price ranges, um, so you're not tied into just an expensive gift. Kitchen set wise, um, we're a little bit low on some of these. Um, there's going to be some delay now um, getting them back in stock. Um, I think as a result of the high demand over Christmas and uh, the up and coming Brexit. Um, but we've still got um, a decent selection for the time being anyway. Um, new in, as you can see, bit of a, a hint there. We've got the uh, La Forges set, which is really, really nice. Um, a high quality set, which comes with lifetime guarantee and lifetime sharpening as well, uh, provided by Opinel. Um, and we've also got the parallel um, gift set, uh, not gift set, sorry, um, a set of five knives there with the um, beechwood block. Apothecary wise, We've restocked today on our uh, aromatherapy candles. So we've got each of the six cents of these available now. Again, gift wrapped, ready to go. And we've also got the aromatherapy shop ones by Akil, which are really, really nice, made using high, um, high end essential oils. Um, the other ones as well, just to point out, they are made using essential oils and soy wax. Um, so they're completely natural and they're really really strong scented soap wise we're a little bit low on our soaps um the high apothecary ones but we have still got a fairly decent mix for the time being uh, again we didn't anticipate the uh, the rush that we would get before christmas this is our first christmas not at um altering market 
Uh, so he was a little bit unsure what the footfall would be like, but everyone has been absolutely amazing, and we were so happy. Um, and we just feel honoured that people make that couple of minute walk. That's all it is. But we know we're out of the town centre. Uh, we're on the edge of the town centre, but um, we're easy to get to. We're really, really convenient for parking. Um, you don't have to pay for the parking on street parking at the side of us. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's working really, really well being here. Uh, just point out a couple of gift sets. So we've got things like these um, shaving bowls, natural bristle and wood shaving brushes and a soap there. Um, we've had a couple of guys in hinting for these for Christmas. Um, so it's just a really nice size shaving dish to that. Um, alternatively, you want mix and match it, you can do. We've got things that we restocked again this uh, today on the soap dishes. Um, and that just makes a nice little gift when you buy it with a soap as well. We have got bigger gift sets as well, such as these brick moulds filled with goodies. Um, so normally it would be £45, but um, everything there, including the brick mould, is £40. So I wasn't really going to cover the hardware section um, because it's hardwares and does anyone want hardwares for Christmas presents? Um, turns out the answer is yes. Um, or at least if you don't want them, the chances are you might be getting hardware for Christmas presents. Um, I think it's just because of the natural uh, materials used on these. So the wood, natural bristles, metal. Um, it's, you know, we're trying to be completely um, plastic free where possible. Um, so it's uh, it's been another popular little section. So some of the things that these plant pot brushes, so clearly we've got a lot of uh, gifts being bought for gardeners and the composting sacks and natural um, jute sacks there. The tea towels have been really popular as well. Um, a lot of people buying them for table mat settings after seeing Gareth's little table set up here. Um, so he's been inspiring people. That was uh, Gareth and Wendy who set this table up. And I think Wendy's going to be in charge of doing the Christmas table this year as well. Um, these vases make great little gifts not so easy to wrap but uh, you can always leave that to us to figure out so we've got the ball vases which are height adjustable so they spin around go up and down and we've got what we call the jar vases which are fixed height but they've got a wider opening so you can get um, bigger poses in there don't forget if you want to ask Santa for a bigger piece of furniture this Christmas then we do sell furniture as well so we've got this gorgeous Welsh dresser Beautiful table, chairs, little side tables. This one here is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it, it just keeps getting hidden though. Um, we're struggling for space. Um, and it keeps getting pushed under little um, other pieces of furniture. But it is absolutely beautiful. Little drawer in there. So obviously it would have been some sort of like telephone table I imagine. Um, but it'd make a great little side table um, in the living room or even a little bedside table. Um, and the colour of the wood is amazing, as I keep saying. You can obviously tell that I like it. Although it didn't nearly burn my backside then. <laughs> All those coals on there. Uh, so going to the uh, Indian homeware section, which um, we're looking a little bit sparse on, but we've still got plenty to choose from. Um, so we've still got these gorgeous coat hooks, for example. We've mixed some of our vintage copper pieces in as well, down here. Um, we've got these little uh, leaf boat shaped bowls um, in the big dough bowl there. And these side tables or stools, um, they weigh an absolute ton although I'm just looking around now I think we've only got two of those left I didn't realize we'd gone so low on the stock of those so yeah they're the last two that we've got in now but again they make really really great little side tables or stools for in the living room and these candle holders 
So these are made from reclaimed pillars. Um, and Anna did ask me why some of them have been painted purple and pink, but that was just the homeowner's choice at the time. Each one has got beautiful detailing in though. And again, they vary in weight, ranging from five to um, 18 kilograms, some of them. And then these wooden ones down here, single candle holders. So they look amazing with a church candle on. Let me just demonstrate that. Here's one I made earlier. There you go. So I've been on QVC this. Uh, back to the big pieces of furniture. So yeah, I've got a couple of um, dressing, uh, chest of drawers even. And some big lockers, which we've got one ourselves in the side alley at the hive. Um, and they're really, really decent for keeping your log in. So if you've got a wood burning stove, they're off the ground, take your stove out of the big bulk bag and just stack it um, left to right inside and it, you know, it's really secure and aired as well. And you can separate if you've got your oak and your birch and whatever, separate which wood into different lockers. Oh, and we restocked on these brass candlesticks as well um, at the middle of the week I think they came in near the end of the week um, so yeah we completely sold out of those so we've got another 15 pairs or so of different sizes in and I think that is pretty much everything that I'm going to show you for today Pan round on some of these antique pieces. This gum jar is amazing. So it's a stone um, ceramic jar itself with a metal lid. Just the colours in that as well. Absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, we're just trying to give you inspiration of mixing some of the vintage pieces. Like just a bottle with um, a botanical print and a candle holder in front of it. Um, you know, even if you don't put the the mounted print in a frame and um, there's other options and ways of just mounting it on your wall or just leaving it freestanding like we have and it just makes a nice little um, setup oh before we go actually let me show you my lovely knockers no these ones Uh, so as you can see we've got five different colours available of the bee knockers and we've got these two paws as well so we've got a silver and brass uh, but these ones oh, like, they're so loud oh. there we go um, yeah my nana, her neighbour, um, ourselves and a couple of relatives we've all got those knockers on our door and every time someone comes knocking um, it just scares the life out of us, they're that good. I'll just finish off on some cards, I think. So we've got some handcrafted lino print cards available, made by a local lady who lives in Simply. We're selling those on her behalf. Got a couple of cards from um, Christopher Wolster. A Scottish lad in Manchester who's a really really uh, nice chap. His tea towels have been very popular uh, so we've only got two of those left and then these are our cards by George the card maker. Some rude ones up here but I'll just show you some of these Christmas ones. I love this one at the moment. He's taking a test, he's checking it twice. If it's positive, he'll have to follow government advice. Santa Claus ain't coming to town. Or if he is coming to town, he might be happy to see you. So that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. 
this is only our second video for YouTube if you're watching on YouTube um, if you are let me spin the camera around actually uh, if you are please hit subscribe and follow us for more videos take care